everyone. I'm Mike Manjos and welcome to Market Wrap, a weekly overview to what's driving the luxury watch industry. So I am back in Philly uh, getting ready to close out what's been a very strong month of July. And I had a great weekend. My weekend actually started on Friday, which is always a nice way to start the weekend. And the best part of it was I got to deliver a watch and actually meet a client for lunch. Uh, I forgot how much of a treat sitting down face to face, chatting watches, family, drinking wine really is. It was a great experience, a great way to sit outside, spend a couple hours, and really reconnect with somebody who's a passionate collector. And also just, uh, we forget sometimes in this world of Zoom meetings and online things, how nice it is to really sit down, relax, and just chat about some of our favorite things. So I really enjoyed that, set my weekend off great. Now we're back in Philly finishing up the month. I came back this morning and we had three watches we loved a lot this week. And this week was a very busy week and I had really hard time picking my threes, but this is what I came up with. So the first one uh, is an IWC, the big pilot, but it's the Lefty. Now this is a watch that just got released in 2019. They made 250 pieces and if you've ever worn a big pilot, they're awesome looking, but that onion crown will leave you a mark every time. So this being on the opposite side, makes it super comfortable to wear. It's a great gray dial. Love that piece, limited edition to 250 pieces. I'm sure it won't last very long. The second piece uh, we came in with this week was the Longa Saxonia Moon. Now the Saxonia Moon's been out for a number of years, but in 2018, they came out with a rose gold version with the black dial. And rose gold black with that moon face, it just pops. Absolutely gorgeous watch. One of my favorite Longas, super classic. Again, will not last long in the collection. And the last piece I got was, uh, just makes me smile because everybody's gonna think I'm crazy, but we bought an IWC Perpetual Pocket Watch. Now this was a reference 5503. It was, I'm har having a hard time finding a lot of details on it, but it's a big 55 millimeter steel perpetual pocket watch with a white dial. They made a thousand pieces in a limited edition. Nobody uses pocket watches. I will probably never wear a vest again in my life, um, but I love having them. I love playing with them. The, the movement's amazing. It's just one of those cool collectible pieces that if you're a watch guy, it's hard not to make you smile. So I love having that. Lord knows how long we'll have it because uh, I don't know who else besides me is going to fall in love like this, but it's just a great piece that made me smile today. So I also came back today to a big pile of longas on my desk. And anybody who knows me knows I love longa. Uh, I came in this morning, I had five different variations that we purchased last week. I never get sick of playing with longas. Um, everybody knows I have a great love affair with them. I believe it's one of the best buys in watches today and that most people overlook. Uh, even here at Watchbox, long gets overlooked as Jorn, Rolex, AP, Senda, take all the oxygen out of the room. Uh, those are much sexier brands, uh, more talked about, it's all over social media. But when you really dive into Longa and look at the detail, look at the value, uh, look at the quality that's involved, it's hard not to fall in love. Um, I love the fact that it's kind of overlooked because we're trading, buying and selling pre-owned. So on the pre-owned market, the fact that the market is soft is great. You're buying super high quality pieces that are 30, 40, 50% off of retail. Um, and I love the quality and value here. So uh, don't think I'd be buying them at retail at the boutique right now, but if you can get a great long on the secondary market, couldn't be happier with that purchase. We're also watching very closely because the Swiss franc has been spiking against a weakening US dollar. Uh, the US uh, with all the COVID, with the China issues going on, uh, the dollar's been weakening and there's been a flight to safety to the Swiss franc. Now, why do we care that much? Well. All the watch companies are pricing in Swiss francs. I don't think in the short term, the big brands will have the guts to rise, raise prices in the US during a pandemic. Um, so I think they're gonna try to ride it out. So in the short term, watches in the US will be considerably less expensive than the rest of the world. We're already seeing prices on Hulks, Batmans and subs rise over in Asia. But in this past week, we've also seen something else. We saw a big jump in Explorer 2s in a, just a week. Uh, I've seen three or four posted at $1,000, $1,500 more than they were running last week. So it's something we're watching very closely. Uh, Asia's always a leading indicator for us. My assumption is there's a lot of rumors going on that the Explorer 2s are going to be discontinued. 
Uh, they never do a lot of sport models with white dials. The whites are always a little higher. So it's a watch we're watching very closely. Hard to say that, but that's okay. We are doing that. Uh, it's something you might want to consider picking up in the short term before this price spike hits the U.S. So the last piece to win today is what we are buying. Uh, obviously, the Explorer 2s we talked about earlier, we're definitely watching those and trying to stock up. I think that's something that is going to spike. Good chance they will upgrade the movement and change the reference at the end of this year. We're also really chasing the Longa Lumens. Uh, Lumens were made in three or four different models, very limited. Everyone I'm buying is going out very quickly. I think that's another watch that's going to spike uh, in the short term. And the last thing we're seeing a huge amount of action on is gold Daytonas. So everybody talks about steel Daytonas, whether it's uh, Zenith movements, whether it's ceramic bezels, but very quietly the golds have been creeping up. Um, on the bracelet, on the strap, we see a lot of activity on the rubber straps for the summer, uh, but even the golds on the bracelet we see a lot of strength on, so that's something we're also watching. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and always feel free to reach out to our team with any questions or inquiries about anything you see here.